Hey guys and welcome to the fish room. I'm Rachel O'Leary and today we're moving in some greenhouse plants. I've carried down one of my 60 gallon Laguna tubs that I had been using this year in the greenhouse in order to try and overwinter some of my favorite floaters. Now I'm also going to try some of those floaters in aquariums but first I need to deal with a few things. I want to treat the plants that I've brought in for any sort of pest, things like leeches, dragonfly larvae, really anything that could grow that you wouldn't want in an aquarium. So first steps first is just moving the plants in, which is what we're going to do today as well as finish setting up that tub. Um, and then in a future video we will address how to treat and what to treat with and why we're treating. But I did want to mention that right away since this tub season is coming to a close. Anytime you move in plants from outdoors, you need to be really, really careful that you're not moving in pests or predators, as especially with small fish, this can be extremely detrimental and difficult to treat in an aquarium that will house either shrimp or snails in the future. Anyway, let's get this bin set up and talk a little bit about what I'm gonna move in and what I hope to achieve. So all I've done here is just move one of my tubs down and it's underneath my Hillstream Aquarium and I'm going to mount some lights underneath here um, and then toss in my floaters and quarantine them for a while before I'm willing to move them into an aquarium. I brought a small container of them in and I have this little Azola fern which is this guy. I have red root floater. Um, some salvinia and I forget what this one's called it's like Asian I, I just can't remember what this one's called but it's kind of neat now I didn't see any predators or anything like leeches in my tubs but I want to be really careful that I'm not introducing anything into my aquariums that I don't want there so what I'm gonna do is quarantine these plants in this tub for a while see how they do and probably treat with some sort of chemical to kill flatworms, planaria, leeches, things like that um, before I add them to my aquariums. And this is something you would have to consider as well if you were to collect plants from the wild, which I should also mention you should really need to check the legality on because a lot of plants are protected just like our fish and invertebrates. Now I'm not terribly concerned about filtration, but I did want a little bit of water movement. So I put this little pond filter in that came with a spray bar. It's only rated for up to 50 gallons, which is probably about how much water I have in this tub. But what I wanted was this surface agitation. And that was just in case any mosquito larva or anything like that moved in with the plants. This will help prevent them from uh, perpetuating the breeding cycle. And I'm quite literally just gonna dump these plants into this container. Um, I'm gonna move in a couple of the potted species as well as some of my sensitive plant to overwinter and just see how it goes. But I need to mount some lights, so I'm gonna do that next. Now all I did here was mount one of my LED shop lights at an angle over this tub. I'll put any taller plants in the back and just hope that this is enough light that these guys can stay alive over the winter in order for me to move out next spring. I figure there's really no harm, no foul here. If they don't do well, I'll just get new ones next year. If they do well, then I, then I save myself some money. Um, and I don't really plan on putting any fish or anything in this aquarium or in this tub, just plants. And again, this is a 60 gallon Laguna tub. Um, they've worked out great in the greenhouse. Next spring, I'll be able to move this one back out when I go to set up plants. And I do have more plants out in the greenhouse that I wanna move, um, but just wanted to get this sort of temporarily set up today. One less thing to think about. Now I may end up putting um, at least a partial lid on this. Um, I don't really wanna block any of the light, but I don't want all the excess moisture into the air, so we'll have to see. See this little tub really is a lot of plants. 
This little fern is one of my favorites, this Azola. This little fern is really cool, this Azola. It's sort of a more attractive um, alternative to something like duckweed if you want a super fast producing floater. So this is my little tub. Um, I need you guys to let me know down in the comments section how long you think that my sensitive plant's gonna be. I'm gonna move some in and try a few different strategies to grow it over the winter, but I'm really looking forward to measuring it and seeing it, seeing how giant it truly is. I thought while we're over here, we take a few minutes just to spy on the 150. It really is an incredible tank. I can't wait to move the white clouds back in. But for now, just adding those additional Brachydanio kyathet or orange fin danio has done amazing things for the activity level in this aquarium.